For what? Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. Last time, uh, a lot of people were slaughtered in the Great Hall here by a bunch of bears. Uh, nobody knows where the bears came from since the gate was closed. But uh, it's our task to try and figure out what happened. So let's investigate a few Hang of the marks, bodies. Claw marks, broken bones. Hard to say what exactly killed him. Well, bears, probably. But how did they come to be here? Aldrich. Shit, no more than a kid. So let's investigate one of the bears. Because right. that seems to be the most interesting what thing here. here. So let's check out the head first. Bear's head, but the tongue's short, like a human's. Okay then. Mouth smells of honey liqueur, mead, and something else, something earthy. Bears like honey before it's fermented. Strange. Let's go to the torso. So the tongue is human shaped. Something under the fur. A tattoo? Shape of a bear paw. A tattoo on a bear. That's really weird. And then Old the limbs. Scar. Looks like it was sutured. And then again, who would suture a bear? So, starting to look like this bear was once a human. Half man, half bear. Something like a lycanthrope. No full moon, so something else caused the transformation. Maybe something he ate or drank. Mead. Mead with an earthy aroma. Need to check the horns, tankards, and bowls. So, someone added something to the drinks to transform certain people into bears. So there's a tankard right over All here. All the horns are empty. Hmm. Maybe I can find something that's still... This looks like it should have something in it. Earthy scent from the bear's maw. Something towards mushrooms. Bowls empty. But the scent's in the air. Coming from... Somewhere else in this room. So we have a scent and it comes from over here. A horn on a small table in the corner. Here. Mead spiked with some kind of mushroom. And... Human blood. Ceres, come here. A guard saw what happened. Those weren't bears. They were... Men who transform into bears. Uh-huh. Berserkers. Berserkers? Berserkers? It has a name? The skull's name for warriors who change into animals in the midst of battle. The stuff of fairy tales, legends. But it seems to make sense, right? Yeah, it's kind of the only explanation. Almost. We were at a feast, not on a battlefield. Think I know and the what meat probably them to triggered the transformation. The meat they drank. Smell this. Mead spiked with blood and something else. Thinking it could be a mushroom, but I don't recognize the type. Sure, it might help us. Few druids know herbs better. Can't hurt to try. Is Hjort far away? No, that's probably the guy that's right over here. So let's talk to Hjort. Okay, he's apparently outside. Let's talk to the druid and see what he can tell us about those mushrooms. Freyr, our mother. May the sea swallow the traitors. Freya, Our Lady. Mind if I interrupt? Already have? What is it? Someone spiked one of the mead barrels with blood and something else. An herb or a mushroom. Sarah said, Give me the horn. I think he already has an idea what it could be. I know the smell. A mushroom. Marjoram. Marjoram. Um, you know your plants. <laughs> Marjoram related in any way to berserkers? Aye. But only in the tales told to children as they are put to sleep on cold winter nights. Warriors who ate Marjoram were said to transform into beasts when consumed by battle rage. But as I said, it's only... Only a legend, I know. Still, I find it easier to believe than some story about bears appearing out of nowhere. So, and we kind of never heard about it, was, and Geralt's knowledge about herbs should be uh, pretty expansive. 
Mardrum. Never heard of it. You have another name for it on the continent. Silas Haib, I believe. All right. Hasn't seen it to soothe pain. Erdelrick tried it too, but only a few times. In larger doses, the mushroom causes visions. Nightmares. Well, Udelric's yes, visions were something else. The last thing Udelric needed more of. Thanks for your help. Blood so who could have that? The taste of human flesh and a substance that triggers visions. That well could have caused the rage. Maybe even the transformation. Maybe. Hard to believe someone spiked the mead here in the hall, though, in front of all those witnesses. You're right. I helped prepare for the feast. I'd have noticed. It might have happened before they brought the drink upstairs. In the cellars, maybe? Come on, we could find some clues there. Okay then, let's go to the cer cellar with Ceres. To the cellar with Ceres. Don't want to get my uh, tongue in a knot. We must find the traitors quickly. Elsewise, the warriors will take matters into their own hands. Castle's a buzz already. Think they'd attack Croc openly? My father or each other. All in the finest Skellige tradition. Haven't had a good civil war in ages. So, it still is kind of weird that only Ceres, Yalmar, and... Uh, it was all too calm. Funny. Arnvold said the son the of Bronn were alive. For a feast to be any good, alive. needs got to flow. So does blood. Might say he got his wish. So that begs the question: if it's I not really the arm crates, it not might have been bronze. Uh, Relax, your brother's yeah, ex-wife. Not stupid. Edna. What was her name? Berna. Berna. It was Berna. We keep the poison at the cellar's other end down below. Come, I'll show you. Okay then. Let's check. <coughs> Right behind you. That's a relief. That stench is that vodka. So let's examine the meat in the open barrels. This mead's clean. Okay then. Any other open barrels over here? There's one. Sniff it, Geralt. Blood Sniff and it. Think we can find out where this barrel came from? Looks different. What the? Something's happening. Shit. The spirit! There's another exit behind the barrel, but they're too heavy. We'll never move them. Don't intend to. Nope, let's use uh, art Wait. and blast them away. And let's head into this cave. Someone just tried to kill us. So uh, they kind of know we're on the right track. We might have been burned tonight. Somebody's damn desperate to bring our investigation to a quick end. Medallion's humming. Oh, place of power. Oh. It's gotta be. We play here. Once. Ah. Bygone days. Yeah, because there's a toy horse over here. And we got another ability point. So might as well use that immediately and let's just uh, put it back into the Quen sign upgrade there we go fully upgraded as well when I get my hands on that pyromaniac let's think they had to use the entrance we used maybe they left some prints behind maybe when the door slammed shut and the fire broke out did you hear a bottle shatter too? No, but I have no witcher sense at my disposal. You must hear the hair growing on my head. <laughs> I try not to eavesdrop. Anyway, entrance is worth checking. Come on. You little jokers. Um, so let's go back and see if we uh, can find anything. Because now we're uh, personally infested. Someone walked through the mead. So let's follow the footsteps. And hopefully that'll lead us to the culprit. Trail breaks off. Need to find another clue nearby. Something else to follow. Must have felt his clothing rip. 
but was in a hurry. What's this? Piece of cloth. No, it can't be. What is it? Arnfeld's tunic. Only he wears this kind. Sure about that? Saw him in the main hall with the servants. Let's go. Arnvold. Catch Arnvold. So let's uh, hurry it up a bit and catch him in the act. Look, it's him! Grab a horse. We'll chase him down. Come on, Roach. So now we're going to have to chase this guy. Arnvold! Stop, damn it! Doubt he'll Ro listen. When I get my hands on him... Roach is a lot faster, though, so... Uh, Oh, Let's you immediately take chance. him out. Way to see you, boy, that. Okay, Come on, then. Coach. And then Roach. Roach hangs. Get it up. Shit, he's fast. God damn it. Stupid fucking horse. So Roach kind of got stuck behind the... The separation there. So we arrive at port, apparently. Quick! They're after me! No time I to lose, swiped then. my sword a few times at the guy's head. I'm on your side! Not anymore. So let's we take out those guys. Thank you so much. Help me. Okay, never mind. They're all as strong as an ox, so I don't even need to do anything. Why did Hello, you Arnvold. Because I want to hear why you betrayed my father, my brother, and our clan. Say it to my face! No Arncrete should ever sit on Skellige's throne. I know you better than others do. You're hot-headed, irresponsible. Skelliger needs stability, a strong king. Not the kind a band of drunken jarls will choose. Curious. Never heard you voice that idea. But I do know one who never stops saying it. Yeah, Berna. And I know the colors those men wore. That was the clan Twer, Sakatartan. It's her. She's behind all this, isn't she? Yes, Berna Braun. What's her motive? Well, what was I don't know what her motive is. She schemed this up to get rid of the other claimants. Slander our clan in the process. If she succeeded, Svanriga would have been left. The that chest is eyeing me over there. Throne. So, let's take him to Kertrolda. Everyone needs to hear this. Let's get back to Kertrolda. Will you tell the Council of Jarls of the plot? I will. I was ready to die for Berna, but not like this. The thing will need to convene. Let's go. The thing? I've assembled the Jarls in council as you demanded, Ceres on Craig. You claim to know who's behind the slaughter at Kaer Trolda. Speak then. The blood of Skellige's sons and daughters. Whose hands does it stain? Being a bronze. The lass is mad. Do you think anyone will believe you? I you think they will. You have poison me to the berserkers. I beg your pardon. The servants of Kaer Trolda are not mine to command. Twas your father who called for the feast, who assembled the guests. There's reason in these words. No, there's not. Have you any proof to confirm your accusation? I've better. I've a witness. Arnvald. And that will be enough, I think, to convince everyone. Uh... Sarah speaks true. Bernard commanded me to poison the maid. When Cyrus and the Witcher descended into the cellars, you betrayed us. The clan that took you in! Good man. He's a servant to Oncrate, a lackey. He will say what they command him to say. He would lie for them even were he to pay for it with his head. Burner speaks true. 
Arnvald has served a care trolder ever since I remember. Noily, look a dog. Hmm. Uh, I can vouch for what she says. I can vouch for Ceres. She's telling the truth. You, yet another uncrate lackey. Did Ceres entice you to cooperate? I can imagine how. Or has Crack paid you to smear my name? What did you say? Calm yourselves. After what I saw on Speaker Rock, I trust the Witcher more than I do you. You've that right. But so it's that's no one Yarl at our side. And there's one last piece of evidence. Got one more piece of evidence. Arnvold fled Kertrolda, rode to an agreed meeting point. The warriors who awaited him there tried to kill him. What's that to do with Burner? Those men wore clad twer set colors. This is no proof. It is inconclusive. Anyone might have donned our tartans. Burner's right, Saras. Tis all precious little proof of her wrongdoing. Alas, your brother Hjalma also has not presented anything that could clear your family's name. We've but one path left to us. Holger, Lugos, it's time we quit this damn castle. Come, we must decide what punishment Clan on Crate will face. Wait, what? Uh, you're making a big mistake. You're making a big mistake. Silence, Wanderer. Wait! Aha. Uh -huh. Mother, you bade me to leave the hall before the feast. Why? Son, and the son now. will stab his mother in it? the back. How did you know? Hi! You stand silent. You gave Ceres no credence. Give the Witcher no credence. But you must give credence to a son who accuses his own mother. That's if it was her doing. She shamed herself. Me. The family. The clan. And now Sonica, she stands alone. I did it for you. Only for you. You admit to this deed. As the eldest of the Jarls, I cleanse the name of Clan on Creep. And you, Berna Bran, I sentence to death. You will be chained to a rock to perish of hunger and thirst, and sea fowl will peck apart your remains. That sounds terrible. Can't you just hang her or something? Lob her head off? Anything like that? And then the Witcher looked Burner out a at a storm. Power. I knew this. But so strong as to commit such a crime. What about Svanriga? What's his fate? He'll lose his home, his name, his honor. He'll choose exile. Or death. But the boy hasn't done anything. Good enough. Whatever comes, we must endure. I thank you, Geralt. Again? No need. Again. I'll not take any more of this modesty. This is a land of heroes. Let this remind you of that. And now... I must ride for Gedinath, for the Jarl's council. Time to pick a king. What do you think? We'll get the nod. Come with me, see for yourself. All may listen to our deliberations. But that will be for another time. Um, so gladly. I do have a horse in the race. Can't refuse to But do we to go honest. to that thought, immediately? Well, ah, okay. Let's go. Well. So King's time. Gambit complete. Started. And now it's time to pick a king. Word long ago, we gave King Bran back to the sea. Today, our mourning ends. Today, by the grace of the gods and the clans, a new ruler takes the crown. Let us swear her fealty. And because of what we did, how we handled situation and went for Saris over Hjalmar, Saris is now crowned Queen of Skellige. It's always been my preference, because, well, better the smart leader than the uh, brazen I one. I know some would see another in my place. I thank those who stood at my side. Here. Beneath the sacred oak, I pledge to be a good queen to the ones and the others. I want peace and prosperity to reign in Skellige. 
And I count on you to help me fulfill that dream. Ceres! 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 Bye, Lucas. So, uh, I think we can have a little chat with uh, Ceres. Just to finish this quest off make a great nicely. Queen. Thank you. Wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. What's the new Queen of Skellica planning? <sighs> to listen, learn, and listen again. Then we'll see. Good plan. I must unite the clans. I'd rather avoid war, but if Nilfgaard aims to attack, we must repel them together. Drummond folk might be a problem. I saw Lugas during the ceremony. Furious, to say the least. There's always been strife between our clans. But I must try and talk to him. Just might bring her end. Okay. So, uh, good luck to you, Ceres. And, uh, I think we'll be seeing each other again. Keep my fingers crossed. Farewell. So, uh, that actually went pretty smoothly. There seems to be another quest here. I uh, don't really know what that will be. But I'm gonna have to uh, wait for that. Because I'm gonna take a little break. Might have been a bit of a shorter episode. But, uh, Look at that. What a sight. Well, if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel. Because the support really helps in creating all these episodes. Thank you guys enormously for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video stream. Goodbye.